Hey guys, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and I am back home in Lancaster, Pennsylvania after a week's vacation in Florida. I had a wonderful time, wonderful trip. It was great seeing Melissa Fresh Bloom and Clothing and going thrifting together, but truth be told, I'm kind of glad to be back home. I love thrifting in Pennsylvania. So if you're new to my channel, my channel is pretty much where I take you thrifting and to yard sales and estate sales and auction houses to find items to flip on eBay. I love to take you guys shopping and even more, I love your comments that you leave for me on what items you couldn't believe I found or what items you would have left behind. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We're closing in on 67 thousand subscribers. I can't believe it, but thank you so much. All right, let's get in the thrift store. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, so I am just in the door. It is green tag today. That means 50% off anything with a green tag. What is this? I don't even know how to say that. Provib idioms <laughs> I'm sure that's wrong so interesting looks to be a print I have never seen I don't even know what this is but boy is that very cool does have some water staining over here okay told myself no more artwork I have been selling prints and a few pieces on Facebook marketplace but other than that art is my slowest seller I think it takes a particular buyer to really, you know, want a certain piece. All right, guys, let's go up and down the aisles. Oh, I see a sweater here. It looks to be acrylic, but boy, is that cool. Very Southwestern print, blue tag, $6.99. All right, I'm gonna stay focused today. That's what I always say. What aisle do we wanna go down? Okay, maybe we'll just look at all the end caps. Oh, this is a real rock, $3.99. I don't know much about geodes or agate slices or $3.99, kind of pretty. I would rather have it be blue or green or red. I don't know that this amber color is very desirable. I'm gonna leave that, could be a mistake. What are these? Okay, made in China, surprise, surprise. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, he's stuck. Let's see if we can get him unstuck. Okay, I kind of like him. $1.99. He's made out of a gourd, I believe. Looks to be hand-painted. We're going to take him. We're going to put him right in the cart. I really love him. All right, what else? See some cats and kitties sitting on the top shelf. We've got a wayward one back here. Let's put them all together. <laughs> He's bored with the world. That's so funny. I love cat expressions. Columbia, little Columbia cup. Oh, I like the colorway on this. Probably just Walmart or Target. Oh, Crate and Barrel, $4.99. Huh, do we see any cracking on that? I might run a comp on that. For those of you who are new to reselling, running a comp means you're just typing the title of what you have into an eBay search or another selling platform and just comparing. So comp means comparing your item to sold items. So I'm gonna put that in, I think, for $5. I kind of like that picture. I see another striped piece down here. Let's see what this is. Pier 1 Import, $6.99. I wonder if somebody had a collection. Does this even open? I think it does. Okay, I'm kind of liking this too, but $7. Isn't that funny that they charge five for the picture and seven for the canister? Hmm, do I want both? I think seven is a little bit high. Yep, I watch every dollar. I think that's a good business practice to really keep an eye on what you're spending. This is Falls Graph. Now we did recently sell a very large lot of Falls Graph uh, flatware, and that did very well. But as a general rule, I don't pick up a lot of Falls Graph. Oop, I'm seeing a picture here. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay, that is really interesting. Let's take a look at the back of it. I'm going to bring it over to my cart so I'm not in the way of other people. Hmm, $3.99. It could be just a poster. Kiki's 
Oh, delivery service. What in the world? Where did this even come from? With the black cat. Okay, if I bought this, I would take it out of the frame and just sell the poster. Again, I would have to run a comp. I don't know, you know, if this is something more common than what I think. $3.99. Yep, I'm going to put this in the cart and I will run a comp on that to see, you know, if this is on Amazon or something and somebody just framed it. But the frame has a lot of wear, which to me means the poster might be older. Okay, this Santa is very interesting. What is he? I almost want to think he's a cocktail shaker. $20. Why is he $20? Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Pottery barn. All right, this is very curious. I can barely lift him with one hand. All right, I will not pick him up for $20, but I will open him. I'm gonna need two hands, so I'll have to put the camera down. Let's see if I can do this right on the shelf. Okay, I've got nothing. I have no idea what this is. I can't get him open. $20. I am going to look him up. So I will just put in Silver Santa Pottery Barn and I will Google image search him and we'll see what we come up with. But $20, I'm probably not getting him. Let's see if I can get him to sit without breaking anything. There we go. Okay, what is this little stand? Kind of like a cake stand or something to gather your stuff. Ross is $14.99 from Goodwill. I can't imagine what Ross has wanted. I don't see a Ross's price on that. I think $15 is quite high for that. You could probably get that in Ross's for under $14.99, so we're going to leave that. Some giraffe figurines or statues. Oh, this guy has a little injury on his neck. $4.99. Oh, and he's got quite a bit of damage on his body, unfortunately. These are not really that rare and not really that well painted. Kind of sweet. If they were in good condition, I'd probably take them for $2 a piece. Okay, so I think this is still the brown aisle. What is this piece here? $6.99. A gold. K speed, K1 speed racing car statue little lacquered box i kind of like lacquered boxes there's something about them that's so pretty but unless they're really intricately painted i have a tendency not to pick them up i do see a frame in there i'm going to try to pull out i look for maitland smith that is my number one frame i think that's the name of it m-a-i-t-l-a-n-d smith it is a, um, a decorator company. Boy, that's pretty. Okay, you can see by the way that the hardware is on the back that it's very cheaply made. If you find a high-end item, it's going to have high-end quality hardware on it too. So we can see that this is, I think these are either lily pads or ginkgo leaves, probably lily pads, and um, not very well made. It was a cute rooster. I love a good chicken. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh no, now I'm in trouble. Oh my word. Look at these big giant fans. Okay, I cannot bring another big thing home. $7. Oh, these are fantastic. Okay, might have to think about these. All right, I might have to put these in the cart. Here's one going in. Now, they're just made out of plastic. This is probably Homeco, like a Sirocco. But they're so mid-century modern, they're good. $6.99. Let's see if we can find a branding on them. Most of the older popular companies branded their items. It'll be impressed right on the back. Not seeing, but my guess is either Homeco or Sirocco. There is something here, USA. 
4402. Hmm. Might be under the tag. All right. We're going to throw these in the cart. Oh, my word, they're heavy. Okay. Yep, it's kind of looking like my cart. <laughs> oh, I see a basket up there I like. Let's take a look at this basket. Boy, the shelves are good today. I see all kinds of stuff. Bath and Body Works Dahlia. More and more sellers are reporting that they're having their pre-owned colognes and body lotions and things pulled. At first, eBay said you could um, list them in collectibles, but now they're cracking down on it. So I'm going to be really careful that the cosmetics I pick up are brand new, even if they are true vintage. Okay, how much is this? Five dollars. Oh, we like this basket. Oh, this is really nice. Oh yeah, this is a definite. I wonder if you unwind this to get it open. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, coil basket. Looks to have like a little extra strap in there. Seems to be in good condition. I don't see any kind of staining or anything that would be deterrent. So we're gonna stick this in the cart too. I'm gonna have to rearrange in a little while. All right, what else did I see? I saw this copper. Oh, this is beautiful. Copper piece, velvet back, definitely vintage. $7. I think this part is copper that's been pressed, and then this is just painted. I don't think it's solid copper, but that is lovely. That is going right in the cart. Okay, staying in the same area. Whoop. Okay, that's mass marketed. I see this little <laughs> tiny fireplace wood holder. I'm not sure what you would use this for. This would be pretty on a kitchen counter with napkins in it. Four dollars. I think I'm gonna pick that up, believe it or not. I think this would have a lot of uses. I think people would like this. The finish is beautiful on it. Very well done. Don't see a maker's mark. This is going right in the cart. We are just scooping up everything. Oh, nesting baskets. These should have tops. Are we seeing tops? Hmm, I do not see tops anywhere. Darn. You know what, I'm gonna hold on to these to see if I find tops. Are they, please tell me you didn't price them separately, Goodwill, let's see. Try to get this one out with one hand. Okay, I think it's $2.99 for all of them. I won't get these if they don't have the tops. So if I don't find tops, these are going back. But, but now I'm going to hang on to them because a lot of times in the thrift stores, things get separated. And I've learned to put a piece in my cart while I wait to see, you know, what's on the other shelves. A tea caddy. Here is a plastic urn. $24.99 antique gold. This was probably sold at like Kirkland's or something like that. Kind of pretty little ornate. Okay, do we like the Lassie dog? I'm going to stick this in there so it doesn't fall. Oh, I think he's too common. Cute face, though. And who makes this? $6.99. I don't see a maker's branding. I would have taken this probably for about four, but I'm going to leave it behind for seven. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, it's an angel. Let me turn that around for us. Peace. <laughs> kind of cute. Okay, lots of action in the store today. They are taking things off of shelves. Most of that will be sent to the landfill. Which is hard to even think about, but it's just the way, the way of the world, the way of abundance. Oh, what are these? QVC sold these. Looks to be two large cups and an under saucer. Brand new. See a basket up here that looks to have some age. No marking though, not Longaburger or Peterborough. I hope I'm saying that right. Last time you guys corrected me, it wasn't Petersboro, but Peterborough, right? No S? I think that's what we had said. Okay, some brass items, which I've had a talk with myself to stop picking up so much brass. These are nice. Made in India, $7. A little bit high. Very nice, though. Huh. 
I was wondering if they were like Baldwin, but I don't see any kind of mark on the back besides the Made in India. $14 for the two. I would want to buy in at probably, I don't know, 10 I would say. What is this? Merry Christmas. Tell me somebody made this. That's very interesting. I wonder how they did that tree. I'm thinking it's laser cut by machine. I doubt that's hand done. Look how intricate that is. My word. This stuff is so interesting today. Who made this and why? Get out of here. Ben Franklin. Okay, so you just buy it and paint it, I guess. They did a fairly good job. Okay, I see a tin up here that's a racing car. Up oh, cookies. Whatever it was had calories of 150. Yeah, so I think this came from like probably TJ Maxx or something like that with some snack in there. It's a picture of Jesus down here. Oh, and then somebody put the sticker. Good morning, this is God. I will be handling all your problems today. I will not need your help, so have a nice day. <laughs> I do like the print. I think the print is kind of common, though. Here's a Seiko clock. Very clean lines, modern design, quartz movement. Comes with dust. <laughs> $6.99. And I see the number underneath. Okay. Huh. I guess I could put that number in for the search. Japan. Just seeing if this is... Okay, that's just dust. I think I might run a comp on this to see. I really like the clean design. Battery driven. Okay, we're going to put that in the cart. Okay. I either like these very much or not at all. I'm on the fence. TJ Maxx, not at all. <laughs> I'm only kidding. That actually looks like a vintage TJ Maxx. Huh. Has a glass insert, but it might be plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. And look at the movement in it. So those are a total trick. But not to say nobody would want them, but I think I'm going to leave them for somebody else. Okay, so we are on the green aisle on one side and the black aisle on the other. Seeing if I'm spotting anything. Whoops, somebody sprayed snow. What is this over here? We have a trivet, carved wood. Oh, that's kind of pretty. $2.99. I don't know that this would bring very much. Kind of like it, but not really excited about it. I like to find items where I really get excited for what I'm looking at. Okay, just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of you guys who come up to me in the thrift stores. I appreciate it, guys. Never feel like you're bothering me. I always love saying hello to everybody. And um, I always have a great time chatting with you guys to see what you're picking up and what thrift stores you like. I just met a woman named Lois, so thank you, Lois, for saying hello. And as you can tell, we are looking at the other side of the green aisle. We have some plastic grapes back here. Huh. I don't know that I've sold grapes that much, and I'm going to leave those. Okay, so I used to sell a lot of artificial fruit, and lately it's been a little bit slower. So I think right now in inventory I have apples, oranges, and I might even have some lemons. What in the world is this? Peacocks. Boy, is this vintage. Look at that. does have a little bit of damage and I don't think this would bring a lot but very cool very iridescent and fancy <laughs> all right I see a glass piece doesn't look to be Murano or anything of note $2.99 kind of cute okay every time I turn the aisle I try to catch what's on the end cap oh this is real leather you can feel it patchwork kind of like a color block patchwork this seems to be decent quality. Has a little bit of wear, but I think this is really nice. Let's take a look inside and see who's making it. Let's see if I can do this. The struggle is so real with one hand holding a camera. Oh, this is Lucky Brand. Vintage inspired. Okay, always check the inside to see if it's clean or not. 
This one seems to be pretty good. And did I see the price? $4.99. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Very boho. I really like that. Okay, very fun cart once again. You know what? Let's scoot down to linens. I don't think I've looked at linens yet. And I think I look at linens every single time I come into the thrift store. I see another handbag we're going to pass. Huh. This is probably made in China, I would think. Very interesting. All right, I was looking at linens, right? <laughs> oh, stop for belts. Gotta stop for belts. Okay, don't see anything in belts. Oop, this is a woven leather one. What do they want for that one? $2.99. Mm, I don't think the quality is there. It's not finished very well, so we're gonna put that one back. All right, I'm gonna go up and down linens and see if anything strikes my fancy. I love this garnet color. Seem quite wrinkled though. Not seeing too much in linens today. I do like to look for the better quality brands. I love restoration hardware linens. God bless our home, a vintage towel. If there were a couple of those, I might take that, but just for one, it's not worth it to me. Let me see what else. Okay, and while I was looking at linens, I spotted this shoe. This is Bach, I think. Uh, born. I really like this shoe, so I'm on the hunt for the other one. So now I have baskets with no tops and a shoe with no mate. <laughs> Let's see if we can spot it. Which Goodwill does try in their defense. They do rubber band shoes together, but then once people start trying them on. Who is this? This is Hilfiger. Hmm, where is my other shoe? Whoop, who's making these? <laughs> Little fringe boots, those are fun. Okay, I don't see the other shoe. I wish I could hear you guys if you're seeing it to tell me, hey, there it goes. Could be on the other aisle, so I'm gonna take a quick peek at that. Whoop, who's making this? I thought maybe this was like a teak or a bandolino. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that one. All right, I guess I'm gonna hunt on the other side. I really wanted that other shoe. There's no price on this one. Real leather, really nice leather. I like this style. If this was my size, I would definitely keep it. Let's see if we can find the other shoe over here. Why are there so many brown shoes? It makes it so hard. Up. <laughs> Look what we have here. Allegria. $9.99, even at $9.99, I'm gonna scoop these up. I like this brand. And that is a beautiful pattern. Open toe, slide. Those are going right in the cart. I was just talking about high quality fruit. Look at this fruit. Okay, it's attached to a big heavy bowl that I really don't want. But this piece is really good. You can see the quality of the fruit, pomegranate. And when you tap them, they don't sound as hollow or as cheap. They're kind of thick feeling. A peach, strawberries. Okay, I'm talking myself out of this. This fruit is really good. Cantaloupe, limes, whoever did this, th this is great. <laughs> Watermelon, fruits you don't normally see when you go to the craft stores. Okay, what kind of fruit is that, a papaya? I think it might be a papaya. This is really good, but I really don't want to sell a big heavy bowl of fruit. All right, so I have looked high and low for my other shoe. Could not find it. Not quite sure what happens to one shoe, but sadly I'm leaving this behind, and sadly it's not my size. I love these shoes, but I guess somebody might want it. I'm not sure. One of the employees said the other shoe might be over in the outlet, aka the bins, which not going over there. <laughs> All right, so this is what the basket is looking like. I am taking the Burwood fans, definitely the handbag, coil basket. And I think I've shown you everything else in the bottom. I did put the art print back because whenever in a comp, the comps really weren't there for it. But very interesting. All right. I'm going to hit clothing now and then probably head up to another store. Okay, so even though I'm really here to work on clothing, which I have a good start, I'm seeing a fish picture. Can you see it? Let's go take a look at a fish picture. We love a good fish. 
I'm really not supposed to be picking up artwork. I cannot help myself. Just saying, can't help myself. Let's take a look at this. Hopefully it's not good. That's what we're hoping. Oh, this looks good. Okay, I really like this picture. What is this? I don't see a signature. Oh, let's see what the back says. We love when it's marked. Okay, Harvey Roth, fish number five, preliminary drawing charcoal, March 1994. To Judy, Shabet, and Mike Bear. Oh my goodness. With all our love, Sarah and Harv. $3.99, putting this fish right in my cart. I might hang this in my house. Yep, he's that good. Look how good this is. My only question is why isn't it signed up? Oh, I think I see, I see the signature, it's right here. Beautiful. Do we love a good fish? Yes, we do. Oh, and behind that picture, more fish. Okay, which way does this even go? Wow, this is very cool. Unfortunately, the matting has some of the color from the, I think this is pastels. Oh, is that gonna hurt it? Let's see what the back says. I love when an artist puts full information on the back. Let's see if I can turn this, yes. Fish group number one, to Judy and Mike. Okay, so if there's number one and number five, I'm expecting three more. I'm unsure of this. I'm gonna set it up and stand back, but I don't think I would take this one because of the, you know, the overage of the color. Yeah, that's on the mat. Boy, this person is super talented. Okay, so I think that's upside down. No, that's right side up. Boy, is that good. Wondering if I take that out of the glass. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's see if there are more, more fish. Okay, so like I said, I think these are pastels and I'm gonna have to Google them. Wondering where the other fish are. Oh, fish, where are you? What is this? What is that? Oh, that's a butterfly. That's a print. Okay, I hope you guys appreciate that balancing pictures on my leg <laughs> while going through them is a whole thing. All right, I don't see any more. But after I put the camera down, I will dig because if I, if I take one, I want them all. Look at this, I'm balancing the, the pictures with my foot. Are you guys impressed? <laughs> all right, those are the ones I see. And see how the frame is similar? See how this is a metal gold frame, but it's a thin frame? And see how this one is very similar? So now I know to look for a thin metal frame when you're looking for them. When you find artwork that is from the same artist or the same collector, a lot of times they will frame them with the same frames. So that is a way of looking for them. Wow, I don't know whether to get that one or not. I think I'm gonna have to leave that one behind. I especially love this one. Oh my gosh. That is so wonderful. All right, I'm gonna Google the artist's name. I will start there and I will keep you posted if I take the second one with fallout. I'm gonna call that pastel fallout. If I take it, I will let you know, but definitely taking the one in my cart. So I only found the two pieces of art, definitely original art. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. The other one I did leave behind because of the fallout. I don't know, I think that might hurt it. And I'm not sure of the artist. I'm gonna to have to do research when I get home. Sometimes when I'm in the thrift stores, I do a Google image search. A lot of times it doesn't work that great for me. You know, pictures of fish come up, but think of how many pictures of fish there are. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I am thrilled with this piece. I most likely will sell it, but I wouldn't mind hanging this on my wall for a while. I think it's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna breeze down the hard goods aisle quickly um, until other clothing racks come out because I have done most of the store, searched most of the racks for clothing. And when you come quite often, you wind up seeing the same stuff on the rack. So I need to look at the new inventory also. I'm hoping to get at least 50 pieces today and I probably have about 20. So about 30 to go but I am just gonna quickly look at these shelves and see if I see anything interesting. A pot cover. 
Now, if that was solid copper, yep, I would buy that because a lot of times people need an extra lid, but I only want the real high end ones and that one's not solid. So we're gonna keep on looking. Truthfully, I think I like the shelves better the other way where the colors were grouped together. I know many of you guys say that your shelves are not like that. I guess it does make it easier when you're looking for a specific item. What is this? Oh, it's a little box that looks like an iron. Will it open? Okay, I got it done with one hand. Oh, look at that. It's a little little thread holding box. Oh, that is super cute. $2.99. Hmm, would somebody want this just to keep their thread in? That would be adorable in a sewing room. All right, I'll take it. Twist my arms, so cute. I buy the most random things, don't I? Somehow it works. Can't tell you, I don't know. It's no rhyme or reason. Now, for those of you that might be wanting to sell and jump into eBay, I really recommend that before you go too crazy, you do run comparisons. That's so important. You can't just be throwing things in the cart of what you like, unless it happens that, you know, a gajillion other people like exactly what you like. It is good to use comps. Okay, I'm gonna turn the corner quickly. Not seeing anything here. Okay, somebody made this. <laughs> I am in a mood today. This is really good in my opinion. Seth, Seth Jack, I think he's talented. It has holes so you can hang it on the wall and I think somebody's gonna want this. You know the ugly face mugs and things like that? That's what this reminds me of. And I am putting this right in my cart. I think it's very well done, it's balanced, the color is good, the glaze is good, the expression is phenomenal, it's everything, $3. That is going right in my cart. Okay, we are back over to the clothing side, but first I want to give a shout out to Anna, who is a YouTube viewer and subscriber. Anna met me and we were chatting it up. She asked, are you Lavender Clothesline? I was like, I am. And look what she gave me, PJ's Carousel Collection Horses. She found two horses and didn't want them. So she gave them to me, asked me if I wanted them, and I said, yes. Anna, it was so nice meeting you. Thank you for the horses. And I will try to find out Anna's store name, her eBay store name, so you guys can see what she is selling. I meet so many of you guys in the thrift stores, and it is one of the best parts of this job, truly. Just hearing what you're selling and laughing and chatting. And um, I told her about FlipCon. If you guys haven't heard of FlipCon, it is one of the biggest reselling conferences. It's going to be held by Josh and Haley Tornado. Um, you can look them up on YouTube if you don't know who Harry Tornado is. And um, hope to see everybody this August at FlipCon. I believe it's North Carolina. I will link that information in this video's description. All right. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.